how do I say this without being a, sound like a total ass? Um, there is people, let's just say that, did not have the best experiences in their earlier years growing up because maybe they were bullied or not picked first on teams or whatever happened and they grew up as social justice warriors not wanting anyone to feel the same pains and hurts they felt which is actually noble by the way there's nothing wrong with that and i i respect that because that's it's it's sometimes kids are awful cruel and mean and everybody's been bullied in their life um, but what happens is I think now is that particular group um, has found a way to form this incredibly loud vocal minority, which has somehow caught the ear of the mainstream establishment that it's become like if they're pissed off now, um, things have to change when in fact, if you probably went to individual people, they would all agree that these are, none of these things are good things, but the sort of, you know, wholesale cancel culture and character assassination that's occurring from that portion of the left, that vocal minority, um, I think 90% of the public thinks it's insane. I don't think anyone really agrees with it. And I wonder why, like, so I, I agree with you that that's a huge issue right now. I, I think the, the whole idea though, that it's just like about people not being like inherently racist because they, they'll get killed outside their own confines. I'm not, I'm not quite sure about how much that contributes. I, I think more than that, it's like what, like you're in the South right now, right? You, you, you said they, there's all, and I think that it's what we're taught by our parents. Like for example, I grew up in a household where like racism was like, it did not even exist. Like it was never, uh, uttered like at the table there was never an ethnic snur i'm a racist i'm, I'm i am racist I, I i hate two races of people you know who they are i'm a very much a racist stupid and lazy people i hate those races of people if you're in the race of stupid lazy people i hate you otherwise hey i don't care what you are i i believe in a meritocracy egalitarian society that's that's me at least right but i think some places there are pockets um where you know, people are still have a mindset. You know, it's hard for me to grasp that because I was just raised so differently. But I, I think there still is some systemic racism that comes from a uh, from you know from areas that where they're just not quite maybe as. And I hate the word woke because I think woke is good to a point, but overwoke when you're like on Adderall, like ten tablets of Adderall. Okay, it becomes like like overwoke, and now you're like insane. So, what do you think about that? Yeah, I agree. I, I think, you know, I, some of this is complex and there's so many, it's like game theory, game, game theory. Like I play chess and chess is a bit of game theory, but life is more game theory than chess. Cause there's chess has set moves. Your pawn can only move, you know, two on the opening one. And whereas life has infinite moves. So the, what's going on in the world is on part what you said, part of what I said, and part of many things. I think my main takeaway is that um, let every man sweep his own front porch and the whole world will be clean. So I tend to fall in the thing of like, okay, I can follow all this and there's some truth on both sides, Republican, Democrat, you know, but I, I can't have any impact. So what can I do around me? Like, what can I actually do? And Whenever you get in a place where you're trying to solve a problem, but there's nothing you can do, I'm just like, move on. There's so many problems we could solve. Make that... money is the answer. <laughs> Let me just make money <laughs> and secure. Yeah, part of it, that's part of it. But that's the, the full position. Let me just fucking make as much as I can because I, I want to be able to build high walls around my house when everything crashes and burns, basically. I mean, Paul, I mean you could default to that. It's not the prettiest, you know, it doesn't sound very good, but I think a lot of people think that way. You know, what do you think? I think it's, it's easier to focus on other people's problems than fix our own. <laughs> <laughs>